What you think about them biscuits? I said, what you think about the biscuits? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi guys, this is your girl Savvy Sab, and we're back today with another recipe. Today we're gonna make homemade biscuits. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, to make these biscuits, you only need these three ingredients. First, we're gonna start with two cups of flour. Now the flour you use guys can be all purpose flour, self rising flour, any flour that you have on hand. This is a really, really easy recipe. Okay, next we need one stick of butter and I'm filming today with my, my phone guys. So I normally take my butter uh, and I melt the butter down to room temperature and then I just equate the butter in with the flour with my fingers, getting the butter all the way through the flour, making it become one. This morning I'm doing it with one hand and holding my phone in the other hand. So please, please bear with me, but you just get that butter in there and let that butter and that flour become one. You also can cut it if you wish and so desire into pieces, the one stick of butter, you can pre-cut it and just mash it in there with a the spoon. I'm a hands-on kind of girl, so I always just incorporate everything with my hands. And if it's for you know a, a particular customer or something, of course you know that I use gloves. But this is for my family, particularly my son who woke up and in the middle of me fixing dinner, he wanted some biscuits. So for your only one and only son, what do you do? You got to swallow them, right? All right. And you just mash it around. Get it all comfortable in there with that flour. And just pieces of that butter just all over that flour. I just love it. It's a nice recipe. It's a simple recipe. I think you guys are really going to love it. And then I begin to spread the flour around, especially on the edges, because next we're going to pour in our cup of milk. And I just pour that cup of milk all over the bowl. And then I gently, guys, I gently fold the, uh, the milk over into the flour. Basically, I'm just trying to wet all of the flour. I try not to really stir hard or beat the flour, but just gently working the milk into the flour and getting all the edges at the same time. Again, I'm using one hand, so it looks a little hard right here for me to do. I thought my daughter would come in and assist me, but she's not able to do that at this time. So your girl got it. One hand banded. I got it, though. But what you want to do is you just want to simply fold over the milk into the flour. That's what we're doing. All right. When you see that it starts to become a stiff mold, if you will, then you can just, you know, just continue to stir into it as it's stiffening up. You can begin to put some oil or butter on your hands. As you can see here, it's really become very firm now. So I'm going to put some butter or some oil on my hands. And then I'm going to pull it out of the bowl. This is not my normal bowl that I use, but I use actually what was available because, I, I, like I said, I was cooking dinner and I just stopped right there. I said, you know what? These biscuits, I'll go ahead and make some for breakfast and dinner. And you can get that all on your hand and remove that dough out of the bowl. So I don't have to make cornbread to go with my beans now. I can just make some biscuits, red beans. And rice with some biscuits, they're going to think they were at Popeye's. <laughs> we're going to get it on and popping right here. Okay, so because I didn't take the time to put the oil on my hands, as you can see, it's a little sticky to my hands. Make sure, guys, you put that oil or butter on your hands. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead on and we're going to sprinkle some flour onto our cutting board and we're going to remove the dough out of the bowl. You 
just like this. So now we're just going to knead that dough. You can knead it into a ball. Basically what I'm doing here is just making sure that it's all pretty much kneaded in. I'm not going to really put it into a specific ball, but just ball it up if that makes sense to you. And once I do that and make it workable and manageable, you if you have a rolling pin, go ahead and use your rolling pin at this moment to start flattening it out. Or you can use your hands, as I'm going to do here, and now begin to flatten out the dough in preparation for cutting out your biscuits. Okay. See that I see, I now see that it's manageable and it's ready for me to do on, go on to the next step. It's very cohesive. So now I can just go ahead and do what I want to do with it. So now I'm just going to mash it out as you see here. And again, if you have a rolling pin, which I have two, but I was in the groove guys and I just went right ahead and kneaded it out, flattened it and kind of flatten it. Cause like I said, in my house, my son loves the thicker biscuit. And I know flattening, when I use the rolling pin, it kind of flattens more. So I just went ahead while I was in the groove, used my hands. And then I took a cup, my old school method way. But if you have a biscuit cutter as I do, but I love your old school, y'all. That's me. I'm an old soul. I was taught by one of the best, my late great grandma. We used the cup in this fashion. I told y'all I was trying to get, get it together here. I set it up, but I was sitting in a wrong. But that's all right. We working though. Look at us. Okay, we're going to cut out these biscuits here. I'm going to give me a tripod, a small tripod. And if you guys know of one, drop it in the comments uh, section so that I can grab me a tripod and set it on top of the cabinet or wherever I need to set it on. Look at that biscuit. Look at it. Yes, give me a tripod and that way that can free up my hands a little bit more. So that's what we're working with. And now you're going to place your biscuits. I use a cast iron skillet if you have one. I really don't have to really butter the bottom, bottom of the uh, cast iron because I use it so much. It's already oiled. Uh, preset your oven on 375. Place your biscuits in there for 30 minutes. I originally put mine in there for 15 minutes and I ended up having to put 15 more minutes on too. Because uh, this is a new oven and not my normal oven. So I had to kind of see where I was, you know, because sometimes ovens vary in time. So I originally put it on 15 minutes, but I ended up leaving it in there, guys, for 30 minutes. OK, and this is what we have. Voila. Nice, buttery, flaky biscuit. Yes, I love it. Let's get that inside. I'm ready to get that butter. So I melted me some butter down, guys. Y'all know that, right? But I pop that butter on top of there. And I really am not a biscuit eater. I'll probably eat about one. But everybody in my home love biscuits. And they love when I do homemade biscuits. I don't really do it that often because my kids are all grown. But when they do come by and they ask me to fix it, I try to do my best to do it. And there we have it. We have buttery biscuits. Homemade biscuits. I hope this uh, recipe was simple, simple and easy enough for you guys to follow. I hope it was informational. And if you have a, a recipe you would like to add, drop it down in the comment section. I'll be glad to do that recipe as well and try that one. Uh, to all my new subscribers, welcome, welcome to my channel. On this channel, we do, uh, do prep videos. We do homemade and quick recipes. And if you would, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if this is what you would love more of, subscribe. Until the next time, guys. Bye.